Hey, what's up everyone? This is Convox, and welcome to another bi-monthly visit from Broker Tour. And today is the 82nd rotation, and today it would be on the Cronia Relay on Saturn. So yeah, right off the bat we have the Katir Atmos Deardom. And what it seems like, yeah, it looks like it's some kind of like tiara or kind of crown for your operator, and it has the Katir, I guess, logo, diamond logo being projected as you usually see on most of his cosmetic pieces, but yeah, this is really cool. It says, flaunt your good fortune with this exquisite diadem. So yeah, that's pretty much a uh, Katira right there. Flaunting your wealth, almost Corpus-like. Kind of hints if uh, Barrow was once a Corpus himself. Uh, but yeah, we have the Prism of Veritux. Uh, this is another one of my favorite weapons. Uh, all around good, improved stats, significantly from its original counterpart. Uh, highly recommended if you're still looking for a solid uh, Arcwing melee weapon. It may not be the most powerful, but it's very decent for what it is. Um, we have the Prisma Gracada. Wasn't a fan of the Gracada. I know it's of a cult fan favorite, but the Prisma counterpart is very good. Uh, actually very good. Some of the noteworthy stats on this, 25% crit chance, the insane fire rate does it have on, on default of a fire rate of 21.67, uh, which is very fast for a fully automatic weapon. Uh, but yeah, some of the other good stats that we have here is 20% status, which is excellent, and the critical multiplier of 2.5, which is very high. These are all way above average stats for a Prisma weapon. But yeah, I highly recommend this if you haven't gotten it already. It's a very fun weapon and powerful. And so our next round of mods seem to be... Okay, so we have three stance mods and we have Fanged Fuzzlade. And yeah, this is a slash mod. And yes, this is very, I would say, imperative to get. Uh, just because Slash is still king until IPS uh, changes are implemented. But yeah, uh, we have Vermilion Storm, which is a, a Claw Stance. We have Astral Twilight, a Glaive Stance, and Temple Royale, which is a Heavy Blade Stance, which is probably, I know, the fan favorite. It's very powerful, and it has very, uh, how do I say? Uh, I think the damage multipliers on the stance are very good. Uh, I'm pretty sure Vermilion Storm is pretty powerful as well. Um, I know it's been pretty much recommended for claws uh, through the, from what I hear from the from the grapevine of Tenno. Um, I haven't tried this stance too much yet, but I know it's good. Um, and for Astro Twilight, I can't really make an opinion yet because I haven't been using glaives as much. I have seen Tactical Potatoes uh, Wu Kong combo uh, video, but I really want to try it. But yeah. Um, yeah, it seems like this group of mods seem to have a Slash theme going on, so that's really cool. Uh, but yeah, so on to the next thing, we have the Twin Gracada's Talzin skin, which is really cool. Um, for all you Twin Gracada users out there, this is a really cool alternative skin. Um, the Katir Raza sign, uh, for anyone who loves the Katir armor pieces and cosmetics that come out. This was actually a new sign uh, that came out in 2017, which was last year. Um, it's a very cool, sleek take on the whole sign on, because usually when you see the other uh, Katir sign on, they're actually, they're actually very angular, big, and kind of bulky. It looks cool, but this is a very cool new take on it. Uh, we have the Lisette Prezma skin. Uh, for all you Lisette users out there, we have the Katir and the Katir solo piece. So we have a both eared version or a single ear version of the ear piece. For all you operator uh, framers, I guess, or operator fashion framers, <laughs> if that's a word. Uh, but yeah, we on the next thing we have the Hydroid or Immortal skin returning. I think this is like its third rotation now. Uh, so yeah, this is, I think, the second or the first Immortal skin that Barrow offers, so yeah. Uh, we have the Katir Kava armor. This is a personal favorite of mine. This is actually quite in rotation quite pretty often. Uh, we have the Prisma arrows for all you bow users out there. A 3-day credit booster and a Sands of Anaris blueprint as usual. Uh, but yeah, some of the noteworthy things to recap out of this whole rotation is uh, definitely get Temple Royale. 
if you're a Heavy Blade user, of course, for all you Galatine lovers out there. And let's see, uh, definitely Fang Fuzzlade, uh slash mod. Very good. And probably both Prisma weapons are worth getting very much. And the new item for this rotation would be the Katera Atmos uh, Datum Operator. I guess cosmetic, you could say. Uh, but yeah, this is the 81st rotation of Broken Tier for this month. And yeah, if you guys found this video to be interesting or even informative, please le leave a uh, like, uh, a sub, or even a comment uh, below. So yeah, this is the 81st rotation, and you guys have a good one. See ya, Tano.